So a couple days ago, I received an email from the creator of the Destroy mod. Destroy is an add-on for Create that adds, well, a lot. I tried to make a video on it a while ago with Cactus when it came out, but our brains were too small to get it. Like, actually, we could not understand the mod, so I had to scrap the video. But there were some features from Destroy that I really liked and kept on using for a while. Like right here in the nuclear power plant build battle, you see this thing right here? This is from the Destroy mod. And so it turns out that Petrol Park took the Destroy mod, got rid of everything complicated, and made a new add-on with all of this. And and they offered me two billion dollars to look at them. Oh, well, that, that, that's kind of a lie. They didn't offer me anything, but I'm still gonna look at it because I am a YouTuber and this is what I do. Please don't forget to subscribe. All right, here we are. Petrol's parts. This is what we have. Six items. It may not look like that much and it isn't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is actually quite a lot. So we'll start off with the coaxial cog wheels. Now, I've looked at these before uh, with the destroy mod, but I didn't realize what they were actually for. Back then, I placed them out and I was like, oh, it's a, it's a cog wheel without a shaft. That's it. But now I realize what it's for. I think. I'm actually not sure. This is just a wild guess from me and there is a ponder so we can double check if this even is what it's supposed to do. But I had a thought and I wonder. <gasps> yeah. No. Oh, wait. Shaft up here is two blocks in length. Oh, okay. So what I think is going to happen here is that the shaft inside of the cogwheel is going to move separately from the cogwheel. Okay. And if we then power this... Yes! We have a shaft going through a cogwheel and it is not affecting the cogwheel. So now if we connect this up to a normal cogwheel and then power this, it's gonna move and we can even make it move the other way to really see. Yeah, threading the needle. Turn a coaxial cogwheel at a different speed to the shaft through it. That's so nice. Two cogwheels running at different directions. This would obviously not work with normal cogwheels because they would just break. Now, I don't think I've ever ran into a situation where I would need the coaxial cogwheel. Not that I can think of right now. But if we're going to be honest, I'm not the greatest crate mod engineer out there. So there'll probably be a bunch of people that have so many use cases for this. And then also there's a large one. It's, it's the same thing, but big. Moving on, I want to talk about corners. How do I power this shaft here? Well, it's very simple. We just use a gearbox, right? Well, not anymore. And this, this is the item that I have used so many times. I love it. Get rid of the gearbox. And oh, okay. Well, how do I make all that? Do I have to shift? Oh, how? What? It is not. Why is it not connecting up to the... Please, for the love of everything, please let me sp turn you... Yeah! Look at this. Oh, I need to know the crafting recipe because that's really going to determine how useful this is. Oh, look at that. It's just two shafts on anisite alloy. Mm, that's so nice. I mean, compare this crafting recipe to that of a normal gearbox. This Check this out. You can do it vertically as well. Just rotate it with the wrench. You can go up, down, left, right. It's so crazy. Because it's four cogwheels per gearbox, right? So that's four, eight, twelve, a bunch of cogwheels, a bunch of shafts. You're basically cutting your shaft usage into half, right? No, you get two carbon shafts. I'm kidding. It's one shaft per thing. So it's a quarter of a gearbox cost and you don't need the andesite casing. I'm pretty sure I might be completely off here. I'm just, I don't know how to think. What I do know though is that I download this mod if it only had this thing. Mm. Oh. And now I'm getting kind of nervous because it's time for the stuff I have not seen before. What the heck is this? Oh, and by the way, I'm looking at another add-on after this, so keep watching. Right, let's see if I understand this. Uh, large cogwheels, they're large. You can connect them like this. They're very cool. And the planetary gear set works the same way. It's uh, just like a large cogwheel, except for the fact that in the center, we have a bunch of small cogwheels. Right, let me get rid of the items so you can see them. A bunch of small cogwheels that firstly invert the rotation of the center shaft but also double the speed of it. So let's actually connect this up to a normal large cogwheel and power this thing. Boom, as you can see, this thing is getting the rotation as a large cogwheel, but the center shaft is moving with double the speed opposite direction. What would one use this for? Absolutely no idea. I guess, wait, how fast can you make it rotate by just... Okay, we're... <laughs> <laughs> we sped it up a lot there. Whoa. I don't know if this is useful. I mean, I don't know if this is useful though. This design here is not that good. Right, I obviously don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, so if you have any cool ideas of things to build with all of this uh, petrol stuff, build it and send it over on my Discord server. I want to see what you can make with all of this. I'm only here to show you the product and I want to see what you can make with it. And if enough people send enough cool stuff, I might just make it into a video. I don't know. You know, you know, you know join the Discord. Send me what you join the Discord server. You join... <sighs> Moving on, we have the differential. This thing is very, very impressive. So I'm gonna place out a creative motor here and make it spin uh, two, two speed, that's very slow. And then over here, I'm placing out another one and I'm gonna make this spin five. Oh, 
Uh, and so right now, this thing is combining the speed of the two shafts going into it. They're moving at two different speeds now. You can see that the left shaft is way faster than the right one. And so we've got a speed of five here, a speed of two here, and this thing is not breaking. Bam, look at that, seven RPM. Two plus five equals seven RPM. And now it subtracts. We've got a rotation of 20 here. That's because we have 50 minus 30, 20 RPM. Colossal cogwheel. This thing is huge. I think it's, oh. Oh, it's just like the large water wheel. All right, let's place it out. Oh, my, I don't even know how to power this. So we don't have anything in the center here. Can I connect it up like this? I feel like that should work. It looks promising. Uh, oh, now we're talking. Oh, yeah. Now. I want to see if I can combine this with a water wheel in a nice looking way. Let's get some water going here. And then tiny cog wheel in the center of this. <laughs> All right, wait, we can't connect on the outside. It's only the inside, but we can use this to move our rotation into four different places. Can we have cogwheels in between as well? Probably not. Oh, we can't have them on the outside. Oh, I'm stupid. Only in the corners. Okay. Right, that's crazy. Wait, what about large cogwheels? What happens if I want to place a large cogwheel into here? Oh, that's not working. What if we get rid of the entire thing then? Then place out a large cogwheel and then place you... Oh, it's only on the outside. Okay, so no large cogwheels on the inside of this thing. Jesus. This is something that I'd probably just use as a, like, decorational thing because it looks so nice. Nice. Make something sick with these parts. Send it over in the submissions chat on my Discord, and I might look at what you've done in a video. Now, obviously, this isn't enough to make a full video on, because I need eight minutes, because I am greedy and I want money. And luckily, there is a create mod add-on that I have not looked at before that I really want to look at, and the name is Create Dreams and Desires. I'm kind of late to the party when it comes to Create Dreams and Desires, but look at this menu. Oh, there are so many things. Starting with the boring stuff, there is a bunch of scaffolding. I've got some of them here, and it's scaffolding, but they're different. But I wonder, though, actually, now that I think of it, is there a new limit to the, like, scaffolding length depending on the material? Uh, so there's netherite scaffolding. I feel like netherite scaffolding should go a bit longer than normal scaffolding, right? Three, five, six, up, oh, seven, or six, I guess. Now then, time for netherite scaffolding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, eight. 39. I'm gonna stop counting now because what is happening? What is this? Look at that. Oh, I did not expect this at all. I can just keep going forever. Scaffolding is meant to disappear when you break it. That's the whole thing. And if I break this, just... <laughs> So I feel like most of you watching have already seen Dreams and Desires, so I'm not even going to make this a long thing. It's just going to be my first impressions, and then I'll tell you if I want to use it or not. So this is bronze scaffolding, and it looks like it just keeps going, just like the netherite scaffolding. Wait, it's also just infinite, so you don't... Hello, what? I'm going to be honest, this is top 10 dumbest things I've ever seen added to the create mod. There's... I'm, but luckily, I'm an idiot, so my opinion doesn't matter. Let's move on, because the rest of this mod is certified sick. Look at this. We have some bronze things. Bronze saw, bronze drill, industrial fan. Oof, Flywheel. That's kind of nice. All right, let's start with the items I have in my hot bar right now. This is a cog crank, and it's a crank with a cog in the center. I already knew that because I read the name. Can we just crank the cog wheel? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Kinetic motor. It, it looks like a creative motor, but... Oh, it's slow. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Craft this. Oh, ah, hell no. This craft recipe is really simple. What a shaft, a casing, and this. And then you just get rotation. How much stress do you have? 48 stress units. Okay, that's, yeah, that's not a lot. It overstresses with a mechanical press. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe not that overpowered, but I still prefer uh, fuel of sorts when you're doing motors. I don't think I, I'd want this in my survival world. So what does the accelerator motor do then? It's fast. Stress-wise, we're talking... Oh, zero stress units. So this thing speeds stuff up. Is that it? Instead of using a rotational speed controller, instead of using a bunch of cog wheels everywhere, you can just change the speed of something if it has enough stress units. Let's power this thing. It's moving. And then we get the accelerator motor, place it out here, and look at that. It's it's going faster. So if we don't have this, and I connect up a mechanical press, we have enough stress units for this thing to work. But obviously, it's moving really slowly, so if I want to press some iron ingots here, it's going to take a while for this to go down. But we have 480 stress units remaining. Uh, it's probably going to overstress if I place out the accelerator motor now. No, actually not. Okay, we got 300 stress units remaining. How much can we speed this up? Ooh, 72 two remaining oh 64 perfectly stressed there we go so with this water wheel and an accelerator motor we have just made this how much faster how much faster Right, I can't even tell if this is really overpowered or not. What's the crafting recipe? No, I don't want to ponder. No one... Oh, integrated mechanism. Wait, 
This used to be a thing. This right here, I recognize the circuit. This used to be a thing in Crate, I'm pretty sure. I might be completely wrong right now. If I'm not, I'm gonna put it on the screen. You have a 93% chance of the circuit, and then you use the circuit with a cog wheel and an electron tube, and then it's a 85% chance you get the integrated mechanism, and then you use that to make the accelerator motor. That's pretty sick. I actually, I actually kind of like this. All right, so now that we've got this thing moving, let's get rid of the normal mechanical press and place out a hydraulical press instead. Okay, that, whoa. The hydraulic press can bulk process items provided beneath it. The input items can be dropped or placed on a depot under the press. What? It's doing the entire stack. Ooh. Now that is crazy. Oh no, wait, you need rubber. Oh, I didn't even look. Oh wait, you strip logs and place them on an item drain and that gives you sap. And then you can use the sap to get raw rubber. You use the raw rubber to get rubber and then rubber to sealed mechanism. Wow. That is impressive. There we go. Hell yeah, look at that. We're getting zap. And then you use this to make rubber. Swiftly moving on, here's a flywheel. I guess it works like they always did. Yup, this used to be a thing back in old Create. A very simple way of getting move. Move. What we do back when these were a thing is we just make a tree farm, which is ridiculously simple to make with Create, and then just infinite. We just have like 50 furnace engines running at the same time, and that would be everything sorted. We wouldn't have to do anything else other than that. If I use this mode in a survival world, I'd definitely get rid of that just because I just I don't like it personally. This is an industrial fan. What are you and why are you industrial? They face down into source of... Oh! Oh, this is also just old create stuff. But you need a blaze burner? You also need to power the blaze burner. So that adds uh, a different level to it. Cool small way of getting some stress. Now, I'm also a bit stressed, so I hope this bronze drill here can calm me down. What do you do? Let's see. Ooh! That's fast! Right, I know how to test this, because I'm- Oh, there are more drills! We got Radiant and Shadow and Cannon. Oh, this is from Cape Bird Cannons, don't- uh, Normal mechanical drill? Pretty slow. And then we have this drill. That's faster. Yeah, that's way faster. So I'm guessing this- Ooh! Ooh! What? They're floating! Oh, it's got no crafting recipes. I have no idea. Maybe they do different things if they're on contraptions, but also they don't have any crafting recipes, so I'm not really interested in them. Because I look at these mods from a, ooh, do I want this in my survival world perspective? And if I can't have this in survival, I don't really care. Right, so that's most of the cool stuff covered, I think. We have a bunch of blocks here. Reverse gear shift. This thing probably does what it says, okay? Ooh. Is this a ceiling fan? I don't think this is a ceiling fan, but it looks like a ceiling fan. It's just a propeller. All right, so honest opinion on this mod, I like it. I think this is cool. There are some things here that I would remove personally if I put them in my survival world. Right, don't forget to join the Discord server, build something cool, and send it over there. You can send images, videos, whatever. If there are enough submissions, I might put them in a video. Bye-bye.